hello everyone hope we're all feeling amazing and doing amazing welcome to the european summer diaries episode number two i'm here in rhodes and let me tell you it is boiling boiling hot so we actually arrived yesterday and it took us 12 hours to get here from london because we had the craziest journey we've just got ready now <laughs> Don't think I'm looking like this on holiday full time. I'm only looking like this right now because we've just got ready to take content. Make sure you guys follow me on my TikTok so you guys can see like the content that we take. Obviously here on YouTube, you guys are getting the full vlog from start to finish, a full holiday. But there like you'll see all, most of my outfits and things like that. So make sure you guys follow me there. And of course, I'm gonna be giving you guys all the deets on this holiday and all the good things. But prepare for it to be a funny one. I'll show you guys the view from my room. Oh my God. and about our room we're actually supposed to get our room changed today we arrived yesterday and they give us like the oldest room in the hotel i swear to god like it's so bad and we booked this hotel specifically so we could get modern rooms because that's what was advertised online um so but now they're saying they can't change our room until tomorrow so i'm trying to avoid showing you that here's a view from our room so we have like a little sea view and we're actually like right at the end of the hotel like it's actually a resort so it goes all the way down Hey, so as you guys saw, we literally just spent like the last 20 minutes. Actually, we actually got that done really quickly though. We did, it didn't take long at all. So literally, we just spent the last 20 minutes taking pictures in this section here on this walkway. And yeah, head over to my Instagram if you guys want to see it. We drowned ourselves in SBF. So it's literally dripping off of like us. Though, so. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but we're going to take some like group pics together and then i'm gonna head to the beach we've just got to the beach i'm gonna say hi hey. selfies. <laughs> oh my god listen yeah one thing none of my friends ever want to go out into the ocean with me and risk our lives no because they can't sorry. swim and you're gonna bait me out yeah well, because well, I'm gonna do you know what i mean you, because i do think if you're gonna travel and you're traveling a lot there's no point in going traveling and you can't swim so it's pointless like yeah, the I whole like you want to go in a banana boat with your friends and like show them what's there there's two jet skis yeah so look there's literally no we can go on a jet ski though Aish. so there's two jet skis there but there's also surfboards and i really want to get a nice surfboard picture so i'm gonna have to literally get on the surfboard here where you can stand <laughs> like, wow we also just want to say that if you're ever in any doubt being out of the office and being on holiday no if you're ever in any doubt, being on holiday is 10 million times better than being in the office. And we're so grateful to be here as well, especially with each other. So actually, I only have a second holiday together. So yeah, we're gonna dip in the sea. It's necessary. I just turn it down. No, 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 there's tears, there's tears. You can't play music with profanity in it. This is so sad. You have to play like the CB music. I don't care. Just make it not loud though, because I don't want any. Yeah, this is what fine. I'm so jealous. These people got on the water slide thingy and they're going out. We're fresh faced now and gonna chill until the evening. Should we go have some lunch or something? Actually, I can't bother to move though. Yeah. Guys, we've been on the side of a random boat. got up with you chilled on the beach for a couple of hours and then we headed to dinner and then we came back to the room showered and now we're getting ready to go out i'm just doing my skincare routine prepping to put on some makeup oh yeah so i'm just going in with the evolve night cream i should really put this on after but i didn't bring another moisturizer so i'm going to put this on with the bobby brown vitamin and rich face base to prep my skin before I put on makeup. Starting off today, we just picked up our tennis racket. I'm gonna go 
play some tennis, and then we're gonna get ready and head to the beach. But I'll show you guys the hotel. I don't think I've actually showed you inside of it. It is actually really nice. I was gonna move us to a room that's like up there, but we just ended up staying where we are because it was like a third day now, so there's honestly no point. We're picking up some after sun for the Jamaican lobster. <laughs> 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 The JL, the yeah. Jamaican lobster. The JL. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. How much? Hundred euros. Listen, it's so unbelievably hot. It is hot. Let me take back the racket so I can hold it. I don't know how we're doing this. I think it's like a good, what, 28 something degrees today? I feel like it's probably like And it's 30. only, what, 12, 30 here. I don't know how I'm going to continue vlogging. It's actually that hot. Like, you have to push me to get I'll on my you. Zoom. We made it. So our room is li literally this one here. So after we can just quickly get changed for the beach. Tennis is over. Been on the beach for a few hours now and we're making our way to grab a pizza even though we just had lunch an hour ago. This is a problem when you're at an all-inclusive because you'll just eat and eat. I know, it's tempting. Because it's the just there, drink, it's the free. free By the way, we can get a sandwich here as well. Um, two spice oh, wait, wait. Oh, look really good. You look gorgeous. Oh, okay, she's talking to her. Am I getting <laughs> Yeah, so we've come to the Greek a la carte restaurant in our hotel. They've got a great find a Mexican one and American and Asian. And we can only get a reservation for the Greek one. And I just ordered a vegetable masaka. And I could you know, on top of it was literally like a thick layer. So like basically like flour, flour and milk. Imagine flour and milk condensed. It was like that on top of vegetables. So I've just swapped it out for a CS. So I'm just waiting for that to come, but I'm absolutely starving. Thank you. Oh my god, it actually looks so good. This is sea bass, it actually came really quickly as well. Let's do a taste test. Moment of truth. It actually looks like it's cooked well as well. How do you say that way? That's suspicious. <laughs> is it fresh or not fresh? Mm. Fresh. I thought it was funny, like we said we were going to Lindos yesterday, didn't we? I know, we said we were going to go to Lindos town yesterday. And then what's happening today? We're not actually going. And then we said, no, we said we were going to go yesterday, we said we were going to go today. But tell them what time you're waking up on a holiday. Yeah. It's not normal. But we've been waking up at like, it's not normal. It's not normal. Basically, we've been waking up at like, the latest we woke up is 8 o'clock. And no, that was today. 6 o'clock. The first wake Greek up. Time. Which is what? No, Han. It's eight o'clock. Today, no. Today we woke up at eight o'clock our time. I remember. No, but the first day, what's the time? Oh, the first day, we woke up at six o'clock, six something. Which is four o'clock. Which is four o'clock UK time. By the time we got to the gym, it's like seven. Basically, this morning we went on a run. I don't even know if what you said. So I told you guys we went on a run. I did a five k because I was just wanted to like keep a routine. And Ash was behind me. And then, but she did well. I couldn't keep up though. She couldn't keep up. But she was running. Like, I was running. Down, <laughs> right <this end>. <laughs> <laughs> Looked back and she was all the way down the road, but it was literally like 30 degrees. It was awful, like about 8 o'clock in the morning. No, never again. We're gonna, oh, my battery's gonna die. Okay, guys, my battery's gonna die. I'm so sorry. If it, if I can't charge it on time, we're just gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So we've just come to the um, same restaurant that we was at yesterday for brunch. Um, but basically didn't go to the gym. Or go yeah, to the we didn't do any workout today because I woke up feeling really, really poorly. So I spent the whole morning in the room just chilling, and now I just have to—I had to like force myself out and to get something to eat. So we just went to the shop to see if they have um, paracetamol. But they haven't got any. Excuse the mess in the background. This is the best that I can do right now. But I've just had to come back to the room because after I made that video, I think, oh no, so I threw up and we was making our way to the shop and then I threw up again and then we went to book a boat excursion. 
But for now, I've been in the room for these past few hours and I've been eating Lay's salt and vinegar crisps and Sprite and that's all I've had today so far because I can't keep anything down and I am gonna go and try have some lunch now because I went to the pharmacy and I bought some medicines. I just told the pharmacist my symptoms and she told me what to, she gave me stuff to buy. So I've got some ibuprofen and some anti-sickness tablets. But I've managed to eat like half a pack of Lay's and drink basically this whole can of Sprite and it's probably been about half an hour and I still feel fine. Um, whereas before, earlier on, I threw up straight away. So I think I just need to stick to like dry, salty foods and I'll be fine. But yeah, really annoying, but also, I'm gonna have to bring a sprite out with me for content because it matches my top. Hello guys. So yesterday, I stopped vlogging after that last clip that I put in because I felt really ill. I had food poisoning and I was literally throwing up. It was so bad. All I day wish. yesterday, it was so bad. Um, we eventually had to call the hotel doctor to come and see me and he's prescribed me some tablets. Mm -hmm. Because originally I went to the pharmacy to get tablets and they didn't work. But the tablets that I've got from the doctors now are helping me. So fingers I've crossed. fingers crossed. So I've managed to keep like a little bit of food down today. Um, so what have you been living on? Tell them. Rice and... <laughs> so if I show you the plate of rice, so I've eaten like probably about half a plate of rice in like 24 hours. And what else? And an so apple. Bad. Um, but I've been living off of like fizzy drink as well for the energy because I just couldn't keep anything down and this morning even when I had the rice even though I've kept it down it made me feel really ill so I had to go sleep again for like another two hours um, yeah so I just I got food poisoning from the hotel the reception staff are really inconsiderate at first and they tried to say that you didn't have food poisoning like, yeah I can feel on the phone telling me that they have right? to confirm it's from the hotel exactly. But we haven't left the hotel. We've literally mm -hmm. stayed in the hotel the whole time. And because I'm a vegetarian, me and Aish don't eat the same things. Yeah. Um, I'm a pet, like, and I do have eaten fish this holiday because there's been nothing else. But she's been getting meat the whole time. I've been absolutely fine. And she's and been fine. Hard, really. and they tried to tell us that we would have to pay for the doctor. Which was? 100. 150 euros. I was like, excuse me, like, I've been in this hotel this whole time. I haven't left. I got it from your hotel, like, so I'm not paying for the doctor to come. Mm. And when a doctor came, he took, he checked my blood pressure, he checked, checked my oxygen, and, like, um, did the sound thing, you know, like, that doctor thing on my belly to, like, listen to my belly. And then everything like that was fine. But I was like, so it would have been, a, and then he prescribed me medicine. So it would have been 150 euros for that because we had to pay for the medicine anyway. Yeah, he I haven't left the room, basically. So this is the story of why we, there hasn't been any content of yesterday and today so far because I'm just I'm just feeling better. I'm just gonna live off of Fanta lemon, <laughs> plenty of water, plenty of water, sunshine, sunshine, and some apples. Yeah. Um, because that's all I can stomach. And even eating that, my oh, belly's going a bit that. funny. Thank you. Ah, off of the Debbie Downer. Let's <laughs> cue the rest of the lit Greece summer European Woo! episode. <laughs> That's the restaurant that gave me food poisoning. <laughs> so everyone knows. This is what we've just spent the last two minutes doing. It's like so cute. I think it's too heavy. We are off to dinner. Tennis courts are like right there, which is nice. We didn't play tennis. I'm not. Tomorrow. When though, because we can't do it in a day because it's too hot. We did attempt to play tennis, but it was too hot. So we just used it as a photo shoot opportunity that it didn't even come out nice. I'm sorry that I've got to get in. I know it looks so unappetizing, but I tried to get pasta with a little bit of sauce. And they were doing burgers, so I just got like a plain burger. We've got pickled cheese and onions, but this onions ruin the burgers because it tastes bad. Just ordered another Sprite because I don't think I can finish the rest of this food. So Sprite all night. It's just with me saying how sick I am for the past 24 hours. They have pineapple. So at least that's something I love a pineapple. I want to match with myself. 
So we was told that there's a fire show on the beach and some kind of party. But then um, we've met some people here and they've told us that apparently they've gone there and it's a kids party. But we're gonna go check it out for ourselves anyway because it's our last night. So we wanna at least be outside. Oh, bothered. Oh, gosh. I mean, it's a nice little show. We've just come to breakfast and I got some scrambled eggs, fried eggs, and potatoes and a slice of toast. Some ice cream. Oh, they've actually travelled right up to me. No, that was me yesterday. I went even over the line to actually. I was like, No, you didn't. And I was like, It's this rays of light. Look, you can see it's coming down. Wow, it's like something's coming out of the clouds, like in a movie. Gorgeous. I'm literally so tanned. I'm looking like a much more presentable human being. I don't know if I was the same person that I was five minutes ago that you guys just saw. But I'm making a little TikTok get ready with me because though I've been talking to you guys, I have not been making TikTok content since I've fallen ill. But anyway, just showed up, feeling 10 10, and we're about to head to grab some bikes and go for a bike ride. I think I did mention already that today's, today's our last day. Um, today's our last day, but we don't have to check out till five o'clock. So we're gonna get bikes, it's 11 now. Probably bike ride until about one. And then we are gonna go to the beach. Also, um, I forgot to mention, while I was on the beach, I'm sorry, is this a clear quartz? Like, if, if somebody's watching this and knows about rocks, is this a clear quartz? My friend saw it, she's like, oh my God, look. So we picked it up, we set intentions with it, we're keeping it with us all day. Like, I swear to God, I can feel the positive energy from it. Um, we're gonna keep it with us all day, and then before we leave, we're gonna like swim out into the ocean and drop it down. And yeah, just let all of our positive energies go away in the ocean. Oh, I hope you guys can't hear the music and then I get copyrighted. But not me forgetting to take my medication just because I'm feeling a little bit better. We don't want any mishaps while we're out. We finally made it to get the bikes. This is them. It's actually really cute. I actually have a bike like this in London, which I never use. But yeah, I should just gone to go and get the code because they didn't give us the code to unlock the bikes and obviously they're all chained up. The lady was like, yeah, you just grab the bikes and go. But they're locked, so she's just going to go get the code and then we're going to be off. And we have to stop and take in this amazing view. Wow. We found the most perfect location. We found this really nice beach club. This is what it's called. Mosa Beach Club. I ordered a zucchini and halima. Halima? <gasps> zucchini pita. Um, and it has like avocado, tomatoes, cucumbers, and like, I don't know what sauce, but it's so good. <laughs> so I'm stopping you from getting it. There's Yeah, this place, I highly recommend like if you come. What's on the road to you? Is it like the north side or the west? We're by Linda. <laughs> I asked this jewellery shop the other day which had this really nice bracelets in it and they're real silver and one thing I like to do every time I go away is grab a nice piece of jewellery to take back with me This is the jewellery shop by the way in Rhodes It's called De Luca Jewellery Shop These are gorgeous Love that one on this so this is my current stack um this is actually an anklet the shell one if i want something that's going to go with this <laughs> the only thing is that this is so gorgeous and for this piece of jewelry hair because i just think that it's really subtle and nice i'm gonna bring this one up Hello everyone, wow, that was a little bit of 
an abrupt ending to the vlog and I can only apologise but as you can see I'm back home now, back in London, I'm actually filming another vlog right now which is going to be up after this one. So this is the bracelet, this is currently what the stack looks like. Can you make an appearance for YouTube? So this is a bracelet that I picked up in Rhodes and this is a friendship bracelet from Tory Burch like me and my friends have but I just feel like it goes really nice with the stack. Now that my tan has settled, oh. I absolutely love her, but I had the best time in Rhodes. I highly recommend it. Obviously, I don't recommend the hotel that I stayed at because I got food poisoning. And it did take, I would say it ruined the last, not ruined, but I would say it impacted the last three days of the holiday because obviously we couldn't do, well, I couldn't do a lot of things. Um, yeah, but other than the food aspect, like the actual place was gorgeous. I had an amazing time. I was really scared to swim in the sea because of all the shark attacks that's been going on. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the video of the poor boy in Egypt that got eaten by the shark. So now I'm just like terrified. Um, not terrified because I, I did swim out a little. I did swim out quite deep. Subscribe to my channel before you leave if you enjoy my content. Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok where I am way more active. But I am now active on YouTube as well. So, you know, I hope you all have an amazing and prosperous week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.